right here we are with the tomato plant and um, the tomato plant is such a variety but they can get tomato blight well now what is tomato <coughs> blight tomato blight is the same as potato blight it's a phytophthora and I don't know whether you know but tomatoes and potatoes are the same family so no. they see if you look at the flower on a potato and you look at the flower on a tomato yeah they're the same shape same form so they're the same family oh that's interesting so tomatoes can get blight the same as potatoes can right so one of the best ways of avoiding it is good hygiene in your greenhouse in other words don't go out and tend to your potatoes if there's blight around or something and then walk straight into your greenhouse you know change your clothes wash your boots Leave wow, it for an because hour you, could you could be carrying the tomato, it in the potato with plant yeah. into the yeah. tomato plant. Isn't um, that into the If you're growing plant? tomatoes outdoors on your allotment, say, yeah. or something, you're going to want a warm, sunny spot for them, but you're probably only growing three plants, maybe. Right. So don't plant them in exactly the same spot the next year. Right. Move them. Still need a sunny spot, but just move them so as you're not building up any of these sort of things in the soil. And you also said to me, if you're a smoker, oh, just to yes. by the way. By the way, if you're a smoker or, or if you don't want to smoke in the house anymore and you go up outside for a crafty <laughs> smoke and it's raining, don't go into the greenhouse with your tomatoes because uh, tobacco, uh, tomatoes can catch viral disease from tobacco. Isn't that interesting about tobacco? So no What's crafty it's doing. I greenhouse. can see our film lady there is nodding away. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably about to head off for a quick puff. <laughs> it's something I must say you wouldn't think of, and you'd think maybe going out, you know, oh my golly, it's raining. I'm having my fag. It just shows you tobacco is so toxic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you do. You can make sprays, I think, out of tobacco. So, would you spray your tomato plants for um, um, tomato blight? No, because there's no, there's no reason and with potatoes you're spraying the leaves and things and what right. you're eating is under the ground here yes. you're actually going to be spraying on the actual fruit okay. as well so generally speaking you know good good hygiene in the greenhouse and keep them away from the potatoes and so watch your boots and everything i mean you have well, to be i'm being particular here but yeah. you know don't just go out from digging your blighted potatoes and walk and into walk your in. yeah but it's just amazing how things are spread you know yeah. from one plant and the to other the thing next. generally when these get up near the top of the cane you'd stop them you take the tip out and stop them growing so the energy goes into the tomato into themselves the, okay yeah. so you're talking about sort of this sort of height yeah. are you yeah. okay that's and a if, good tip if now. it's very dry and um what you can do is to to aid um Oh, can't even think of the word. Fertilization of the flowers or something is gently mist the plants with a just plain water and a misting thing just to to help with, with the um, fertilization of the flowers. Oh right, okay, okay, great.